Hi guys, this is me Jason. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified for more videos. Actually, I am planning to upload one video every week if possible. Right now, I am going to teach you something how to how to measure the pixels of a given picture or image, and that is called uh, page ruler. I have here a search regarding how to use a page ruler. So here it is, and there's a lot more to read. So as the name suggests, page ruler lets you draw a ruler to get position, width, and height of a selected area. You can also get dimensions and pixels positions of any web elements on the page, meaning um, this page ruler is created basically for those uh, web developers so they can actually measure the dimensions of a specific image or picture. All right, so that's the thing that we have to learn today. Um, right now, there's like one simple step that we need to do first, that is to add an extension from our Google Chrome. So you have to hit this three three dots here to the upper side of the page and click on the more tools option and then go to extensions and then click here the extensions and then open Chrome Web Store and we have to search for the page ruler and here it is there's like 236, 219, 10. So I think I'm going to get this one and add it to my Chrome extension. And after adding it, after clicking this add extension button, it will appear here to the upper right portion of your page. So let's add it right now. And then here it is. And it says there, welcome, thank you for installing our Chrome extension. And the name is Page Ruler. And it has access to your site. Alright, so that's it for how to install the Page Ruler. The next step is, we have to use a Page Ruler in actual work that I do because I am actually working as a freelance or virtual assistant under Upwork.com. And I have to teach you something that I learned from from my client. So actually, my client told me about about this extension that I have to add it to my Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, and then with some instructions, I was able to use it. It's perfectly it's perfectly easy to use, and because I use it like for a couple of times already, like for a few hours. I think I am actually a professional page ruler user. So I am sharing the idea and how to use it perfectly and effectively. There are two steps that I am going to share it to you. The, the first one is um, just a simple way of how to use it. And the second one is to um, navigate more of the page ruler, okay? All right, so as you can see, this is the project name Peking India. So I had to do all these measurements using Google Google search and of course the page ruler that we have just added as our Chrome extension. There's a lot of data that we had to do, but right now, uh, we have to do one part only as as our sample okay so here it is I just copied and pasted the data except for Saturday and Sunday it's because our learning session today covers the Saturday and Sunday data collection so our topic is about Vismaya water theme park page ruler measurements okay so this Vismaya Water Theme Park is located in Kerala, India. 
so once again we have to open the Google and we have to search it the, on the text box okay so we have to copy this place or just this one okay copy and then oh, paste it here and enter so here it is this is in India Vismaya water theme park so what is this project all about this project is all about taking the measurements from this popular times graph as you can see here this is labeled as Sundays okay so meaning this Vismaya water theme park is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays that means every Sunday okay this is 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 again 10 to 6 p.m. let's go back here it's 10 to oh uh, what is it five? All right, five. I'm sorry, it's just five. Okay, because here it's it's six to seven. So this is until uh, four to five, five p.m. Okay. All right. So again, we have our task here is to learn how to use page ruler effectively, so we can get information from here to be inputted here on this excel file particularly on the two rows saturday and sunday so let's start so this is sunday if you want to select saturday first we can, you can actually um, hit this button here and select saturdays there it is so also you can all you can click on this arrow to the left to go back to another day before that so if you want to hit this again it goes to Thursday and so on so let's go back to Saturday since Saturday is our um, purpose here right all right so this is the page ruler extension that we have just added to the Chrome extension okay so let's start the business click on that so after clicking on it there are like elements a tab here there's a width there's a height left top right bottom that's what I told you web developers normally use uh, this tool to get the pixels right but um, I think they're actually looking for the left and top pixels to measure the entire um, image uh, for example if you want to click on this page ruler again watch what will happen next there it's gone so click on this again you're back and it has a plus sign here look at the cursor it's a plus sign meaning it's not ready to take measurements say for example this image here I'm clicking from the edge of the picture towards the lower edge or lower end of the picture and it says there the width of 173 pixels height left top right bottom and color okay so the guide is on so that's why we are able to see the rulers okay so that's how to use that one but in this tutorial what we are after for is the height in pixels meaning this 131 only again just the height in pixels so what you see here this is 18 pixels that's the height okay again it's the height it's 
in Pixels. All right. Okay. So let's start from this bar. 10 to 11, so 10 o'clock. Okay, so just hover your mouse to the top edge and then to this line here to this line okay so the just the height what we're after for is the height there from that point to this point okay so once again there you can do like that you can do like that here or there or just like that okay but for me I want to extend it over to the side that's it so the height this one here from here to here is just 24 so we can actually measure the pixels as 24 next this bar okay hover your mouse there to the top and going to the bottom to the line that's 42 next this one here That's 52. Next, it should be 53. 53. Next, uh, maybe 52. Let's try. Just 51. Um, yeah, it could be lower than the other one. Yeah, 51. Okay. And next one, 3 p.m here 3 p.m. Oh, it's still 51? No. 15. And then next is this one. That's 45. And next is the last one. No, that's over. Here. So the height is 36. That's it. That's the height. How about Sunday? So we can click that and then choose Sunday by clicking here. Choose Sunday or this arrow here. So if it's Saturday, click this arrow to the right. So that's Sunday right now. So that's our next step. As what I told you that I have to give you two specific steps on how to do, to do this project right the first one is just very simple just um, clicking this page ruler tool and then me measure right away if you are using this page ruler for a couple of hours i'm quite sure that you'll be tired your eyes will be tired and it's hard for you to see the perfect um perfect edge or end of the graph so that's why I'm telling you to change the color and that's our second step for making this project realized and okay so let's go back click on this page ruler this there is here a certain tab called color and the color is blue as the default that's why when you hit this page ruler here on a specific um, place on the website or in the graph the color is blue and right now we are going to change it to this one or this one let's try that one click ok and do you think it's clear do you think it's readable do you think it's easy for you to measure a certain blue graph i think not so what we are going to do is to change it to another color how about this one i like it to be more red or red about red it could be but so dark so let's try another one maybe this one is lighter so that's perfect yes that's perfect so let's start the completion of the project so we are here already on Sunday so once again click here click back and then change the color choose this one click OK if it's Sunday that's already great if it's not so you have to click back and then change it to Sunday here if it's Saturday you can also click here that's it 
And right now, to begin with, click again the page ruler, change the color, click here, click OK, and here we go. So the height of that is 38. We can put it back here. And next is this one. Okay, that's 61. Next is this one, the highest. That's 75. So there's a, there's a lot of like people coming at this time, like 12 p.m., 12 noon to 1 p.m. So we're talking about this measurement here. That's 74. And right next, the two are the same, so let's just uh, measure. Wait, I couldn't. That's better. Okay. That, that's it. So that's 69. Another 69. This one here. That's 64. And the last one to end up this project is. 44. And that's it guys, that's how to use a page ruler effectively and uh, wisely. When you are having a student project on how to measure a, a pixel or pixels of a certain image or picture. I hope you learned something from me and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And, uh, and also, please hit the bell button to be notified. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.